And we are FM 101.9. Merrily Kelly with you here in the Music Hall. Uh, a rare radio appearance today from a talented singer, songwriter, storyteller, entrepreneur. He's got his own record label, Oh Boy Records, Grammy winner for 1991's Missing Years album. He's been making records since the early 70s. Songs of his that you may know, Angel from Montgomery, Hello in There, Sam Stone, Dear Abby. And uh, would you please welcome John Prine. How you doing? Great. Thanks for um, waking up and coming in to see us. <laughs> Thanks. Did you did you just roll out of bed? Yeah, I'm a late riser. That's okay. That's okay. You know, it's a it's a rock and roll thing. Is it okay to call you a folky or are you a rock and roller? Oh, yeah, anything is be fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It just you know matters how many musicians you got with you. Mm -hmm. If you're well, alone, you're a folky. Well, today you're a folky because you're in the music hall with just you and your beautiful Gibson guitar. And uh, you are doing a couple shows, though, in the Southern California area. Uh, you're on the road with a band, though, yes? Right. Okay. Let me run those shows down if anybody's interested before we launch into a song. Uh, tonight, Ventura Theater. Wednesday night, tomorrow night, sold-out show at the Galaxy Theater. Congrats on that. Uh, Thursday, two things going on here in Los Angeles. Uh, House of Blues show on Thursday night. And in the afternoon, there's going to be a signing at Tower Sunset. You won't be performing, but... Is that signing or singing? Signing. <laughs> what will you be signing? Uh, I guess records. Mm -hmm. No books that... Records, arms, cast, you know, <laughs> whatever. Guitars? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. John Prine with us in the music hall. Why don't you start off with uh, a song? Okay, great. standing standing by peaceful waters standing by peaceful waters oh I oh I oh Many years ago, along the Illinois-Wisconsin border, there was this Indian tribe. They found two babies in the woods, white babies. One of them was named Elizabeth. She was the fairer of the two, while the smaller and more fragile one was named Marie. Having never seen white girls before and living on the two lakes known as the Twin Lakes, they named the larger, more beautiful lake, Lake Elizabeth. And thus the smaller lake that was hidden from the highway became known forever as Lake Marie. We were standing Standing by peaceful waters Many years later, I found myself talking to this girl who was standing there with her back turned to Lake Marie. The wind was blowing, especially through her hair. There was four Italian sausages cooking on the outdoor grill. And man, they was sizzling. Many years later, we found ourselves in Canada, trying to save our marriage, and perhaps catch a few fish. Whatever seemed easier. That night she fell asleep in my arms, humming the tune to Louis Louie. Ah, baby, we gotta go now. We were standing, standing by peaceful waters, standing by peaceful waters. Whoa, ah, oh, ah, oh. Whoa, ah, oh, ah, oh. Whoa, ah, oh, ah, oh. 
The dogs were barking as the cars were parking, the loan sharks were sharking, and the narcs were narking. Practically everyone was there in the parking lot by the forest preserve. The police had found two bodies in the woods. Nay, naked bodies. And their faces had been horribly disfigured by some sharp object. Saw it on the news, on the TV news, in a black and white video. You know what blood looks like in a black and white video, don't you? Shadows. Shadows. That's exactly what it looks like. All the love we shared between her and me was slammed. Slammed up against the banks of old Lake Marie. Marie, we were standing. Standing by peaceful waters. Standing by peaceful waters. Whoa, I John Prine is with us in the FM 101.9 Music Hall. That's from your most recent album, Lost Dogs and Mixed Blessings, Lake Marie. That song, uh, it's almost like a short story. There's so many layers and, and references. You could listen to it on so many different levels. Well, usually when I'm performing live, I talk a lot. My stories tend to be really long. And um, the people that have come over the years to the shows kind of so, seem to like that. So I thought maybe it would be good if I could incorporate uh, some talking into a song, you know, so I could do it all at one time, talk and sing. And I just kind of had that idea, carried it around for a while. And uh, I bumped into Lake Marie. I found a, it was a lake I used to go to as a teenager in Chicago. And I was playing up in the Chicago area. And the name came up, and I thought, geez, that might be the, the thing I'm looking for. I wanted something that kind of had started out with some historical value and then kind of just went off on a tangent. Mm. And I believe I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's got some personal history in there, too. Is that all your imagination, or are there some, some real events in that song? Oh, there's always some real events in there, you know. Um, uh, and a lot of imagination. Good mix. We were talking before how you're going to be doing a signing at Tower, and, and the reason I asked what you would be signing is because I feel like if you haven't done it already, like you've got a book in you or or a short uh, series of short stories. Have you ever tried to just sit down and write prose? I used to write uh, like short shorts, you know, the shorter the better, actually, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I don't know, I'm, maybe I could get started on a book one of these days. Mm. I've well, thought about that more often. Uh, more so like years ago when I first started songwriting I was thinking about writing books too Is there time for that? Mm, not if I sleep late as like <laughs> I do you know? John Prine in the music hall with us you've been at this um, <laughs> 20 plus years a long time to be making music and touring do you ever get tired of the lifestyle especially I, I hear that you're pretty much a new dad you have a couple new babies in your life Oh yeah the, well the babies are great They, I'm getting up early with them you know <laughs> One of them comes in and bites my foot at 6.30 in the morning, so you can't, you know, roll over and go back to sleep. Mm. Um, <laughs> the, I've been home since uh, the second baby was born, about four and a half months ago, and that's a pretty long stretch for me to be at home. Usually uh, we're out on the road. So um, I'm enjoying the road this time because I'm, I've, uh, I've been away from it for a little bit. And no kids tagging along yet too young I wish the that. kids were here. Yeah. Yeah. And they're back home in Nashville? They're in Nashville. Mm. So doing this for 20 years, I, I have to wonder if uh, uh, there's songs of yours that people 
come to your show expecting to hear. And uh, one of your most well-known and, and really great songs is Angel from Montgomery. Was there a time you ever stopped playing that? Or if I asked you to play that right now, would you just be like, oh, not again? Oh, no, I like to play Angel from Montgomery. Hmm. Well, Some songs, um, I'll put them up on a shelf for a while uh, until I can get interested in them again, you know. But Angel, uh, uh, actually, even though I wrote Angel from Montgomery, I kind of consider it uh, Bonnie Raitt's song. You know, Bonnie brought it around to so many people. So I really like Bonnie, so I don't mind singing Angel from Montgomery. You know? The interesting thing is it's it's from a woman's point of view, so it, it may seem like a more natural fit for Bonnie, but that's what makes it such a special song is hearing you, a man, sing from a, a woman's perspective. When I wrote that song, that's about the time we were talking about, I was thinking about writing books, so it really didn't occur to me what, uh, what point of view I was writing oh. the song from, you know, because they were characters I'd made up. Okay. John Prine has a couple of shows in town. We'll tell you about them after we listen to Angel from Montgomery. I started a different song. <laughs> <laughs> I am an old woman named after my mother. My old man is another child that's grown old If dreams were lightning and thunder were desire This old house would have burnt down a long time ago Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery Make me a poster of an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to go When I was a young girl Well, I had me a cowboy He weren't much to look at just a free rambling man But that was a long time And no matter how I try The years just flow by Like a broken down dam Make me an angel That flies from Montgomery Make me a poster Of an old rodeo just give me one thing that I could hold on to To believe in this living is just a hard way to go Flies in the kitchen I can hear them They're buzzing And I ain't done nothing Since I woke up today Well how the hell can a person Go to work in the morning And come home in the evening And have nothing to say Make me an angel To fly from Montgomery Make me a poster Of an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to John Prine, our guest in the FM 101.9 <laughs> Music Hall. Uh, back then, you surrounded yourself with, with a different crowd. I don't know who you 
run with now. But I know back in the early 70s, there was Chris Christopherson and Steve Goodman. And on the last couple albums, we've seen names like Tom Petty and some of his Heartbreakers pop up, uh, Bonnie Raitt, Springsteen. Do you try to keep in touch with what's going on with uh, current music? Is, is that a, something you consciously do? No, I've just always been a big music fan. Whenever When I go to the record store now, they love to see me coming because, I mean, I usually <laughs> drop a hundred bucks there, you know? I mean, uh, if they've heard about you, maybe curious about it, I'll go ahead and get the record, even if it's just one I like. And um, I'm constantly replacing stuff that I bought six, seven copies of, you know? Mm. And um, I know if I went through the house, I'd find, you know, some records I got ten copies of, you know? I keep thinking I lost them. Having having your own record label <laughs> gives you that luxury. Uh, is there somebody out there who you've taken to your wind? Do you have any new artists on your Oh Boy record well, label? Well, we got uh, Heather Eatman is out doing this tour with us, opening the shows. And Heather's just got her first release on uh, Oh Boy, and she's doing great. The crowds are loving her. Well, all right. The place that you can see Heather Eatman and John Prine, our guest today, uh, Venture Theater tonight. Again, Wednesday, sold out, but you never know. At the Galaxy Theater, you might want to maybe show up and you might score some tickets Thursday at the House of Blues here in LA and also a chance to get anything you want signed by John Prine at Tower Sunset on Thursday afternoon at 5.30 and uh, I'll be bringing my 12 string and if you could string it for me too that'd be great <laughs> John Prine thank you so much Thanks.